In this video, I'm going to cover a sector that could potentially be heating up just now, although there is a risk with it, and I'll go over the exact stock that I added today that is on your screen right now. Drop a like on this video if you do enjoy this content, and we had a big winner out of ticker TPST in the private Discord. This is how I alerted my buy today, 12.33 p.m. Eastern Time, $10,000 buy on TPST and if you check the if you check the chart you can see that at 12:33 which was right about here from the alert to the high it had a 30% move and if we check out the private discord here you can see that this member ended up pocketing 300% playing call options on ticker TPST an incredible thing right there that happened today in the private discord remember i'm not a financial advisor but i do share my trade ideas over there in the discord and i do share my trade ideas over here on the youtube channel so just subscribe and also tpst they do have cl preclinical data to be shared on april 8th 2024 and i will at the end of the video go over a 10 cent stock because you know the first stock that i added and I'm also in this 10 cents one to a much smaller, more of a gamble position. But the big one that I added is not going to move as quickly. A lot of you guys like to trade penny stocks. So I will go over a penny stock in this sector that is more of a gamble, but could potentially move significantly if the sector does heat up. And the sector we're going to talk about in this video is overall the oil and gas sector. It is starting to heat up you know, just recently, and I'm going to go over ticker USO that I did add today. This is just basically if you're buying this stock, if you're buying call options on this stock, you're betting that oil is going to rise higher. If you're buying put options on this stock, you're betting that oil is going to come all the way back down. And you can see this is my USO position. Overall, I do have a tight 5% stop loss on USO sitting at 78.88. So if it comes back down to 78.88, I'll take the loss. I'll move on. I'm not going to hold it long term. I'm not going to diamond hand it. But if we do end up breaking out of this long downtrend here on the daily, then I can potentially catch a nice rally if oil does heat up. So if it doesn't work out, I'll get stopped out. But if it does work out in my favor based on my due diligence that I'm sharing you guys in this video, then I could potentially ride out some nice profit within the oil sector. And let's go over why I'm interested in this sector right now. So OPEC oil output falls in March, led by Iraq. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries pumped 26.42 million barrels per day last month, down 50,000 barrels per day from February. So they're pumping a little bit less oil, which could rise the price of oil overall. Now let's take a look at some more articles coming in. This was just, you know, last week, actually, Russian cuts or yeah, Russian cuts to crude output may bring $100 oil, JP Morgan is saying. Moscow's decision to reduce oil output is likely to drive the price of oil to $100 a barrel this year unless other suppliers take action. Russia's government ordered companies to cut oil output to target of 9 million barrels a day by the end of June. Russia in late February said its production was 9.5 million barrels a day. Russia's actions are surprising, according to J.P. Morgan. The bank said U.S. gasoline prices could hit $4 a gallon by May, and the price of Brent crude could reach $100 a barrel by September. J.P. Morgan analysts said that with the approach of the elections in the United States, the country could release oil from its strategic petroleum reserve to limit the effects of, of Russia's cut. And this is why, guys, I have that stop loss on ticker USO, because if the United States does release this oil, it could actually cause the prices of oil to fall. But if they don't, then they could actually rise significantly. So analysts are estimating that the Biden administration can release as many as 60 billion barrels of oil from their reserves to offset about four months of Russia's reduction. And the lesson from the 2022 energy crisis taught us that there are multiple levers that can quite effectively mitigate the impact of the high prices. So you got to keep in mind that is a risk. If, if the Biden administration does release these barrels of oil, 
then it could actually cause the prices of oil to fall, which is why I'm going to keep that tight stop loss. And you can even use a tighter stop loss if you want. You can either even use a 2 3% stop loss if you don't want to take a big hit if the trade does not end up going your way. This came out today. Oil prices supported by stronger demand in Europe. Oil prices are being supported by persistent demand in Europe with consumption in the region rising from a year earlier by an estimated 100,000 barrels a day to 13.7 million barrels a day in February. The, inc the increase contrasts with the bank's prior forecast of a decline in oil demand. So at first, they were thinking that the demand for oil was going to decline. It did the opposite. The demand for oil increased. So this is another catalyst here that could cause the prices of oil to rise. Also, you have Mexico said to cut some oil experts as global supplies tighten. So Mexican oil is cutting some oil exports over the next few months. The Mexican state-run oil company, also called Pemex, canceled contracts to supply refineries in the U.S., Europe, and Asia with its flagship Maya crude. Mexico, on average, exports about 600,000 barrels of Maya crude per day. An analyst at financial services from Goldman Sachs said that European demand for oil has been stronger than expected this year, which may help drive up the prices. And JP Morgan, they said that Brent could reach $100 a barrel this year as Russia cut supplies. So a lot going on within this oil sector, including Saudi Arabia may hike, may hike May crude oil prices to Asia. We have this war going on. So with all this war action going on, we could see that actually have an impact to oil prices. We also are seeing, you know, these airstrikes that could actually lead to an increase in oil prices. We're also seeing, you know, Russian strikes on Ukrainian energy facilities, which yet again, could lead to increases in oil prices. And also you have Ukraine takes the war to Russia's oil refineries, which Ukraine is actually using long range drones to strike oil industry assets deep inside Russia, which yet again could lead to increases in oil prices and AI technology even here, an article coming out that AI technology is set to boost U.S. natural gas demand which could lead to an increase in natural gas prices, which is right there next to oil. Okay, guys, so there's a lot of action going on today. A 10 cents oil stock, the lowest price oil stock in the market right now is actually TPET. This is a complete gamble, guys. It's very risky to trade ticker TPET. But, you know, in my cannabis video, I was talking about IMCC, how that was a gamble and it could pay off. It ended up rising significantly. IMCC was up like 60% today. It halted up. Keep in mind, TPET is absolutely not a long-term hold. But in the near term here, if oil heats up, you could potentially see TPET at just a $4 million market cap and a $31 million float start to heat up a little bit. They are basically out of cash, so they're going to need to dilute at some point in the near future, which could cause a decrease in the share price. But what I tend to see sometimes is companies try to get their share price higher and try to basically pump up the price before they do dilute so they can end up raising more money, although that is not a guarantee. Got to keep a tight stop loss on ticker TPET, but this one has had big runs in the oil sector in the past and Honestly, it's one to keep an eye on as the lowest price oil stock in the game right now. I don't believe there is a reverse split going on here anytime in the near future for TPET. So it's definitely one to keep on your radar only if the oil sector does heat up. And guys, keep in mind, the risk is if if the Biden administration releases millions of barrels of oil from the reserves, it could actually cause the price of oil to come back down, which is why I'm going to keep my tight stop loss here on USO and also, you know, a little bit wider stop loss on TPET. I'm not going to do a 5%. I may do a 10, 15, 10 to 15% stop loss on something like TPET, but it is interesting the fact that it is the lowest market cap 
oil uh, oil stock in the market right now. So guys, drop a like on this video. Join the private Discord. We have big time alerts going on. I'm posting my buys. I just po I just screenshot it, post it. Boom! It was a big winner today. It might have more in the tank, but never get greedy. It's always okay to take profits. I'm scaling out profits on all of these plays on the way up and then potentially holding out some runners so I can ride the wave up if it does continue, especially here that TPST does have that catalyst coming up. So that's it for me, guys. Peace.